a deadly crash, sparking concerns in the neighborhood about pedestrian safety. I'm Alberto Camargo, your college town neighborhood reporter. This memorial marks the spot where an FSU student died earlier this week. Now, I'm getting new numbers from Tallahassee police about pedestrian crashes across all our neighborhoods. The death of Elizabeth Ellie Sims in a hit and run earlier this week has left a hole in the hearts of college town neighbors, but it has also created a movement. A petition to add a traffic light to the intersection of the crash has nearly 20,000 signatures in just a few days. I'm talking about Pensacola and Lorene Street. Several Florida State students I've spoken with say they don't feel safe crossing roads in the area around campus. I checked with the Tallahassee Police Department. Their stats confirm 46 crashes involving pedestrians in 2024 as of April 30th, three resulting in a death. That's a similar pace to 2023, which saw 135 crashes and 10 pedestrian deaths total. A fundraising effort for Ellie's funeral expenses has raised over $70,000 as of Thursday afternoon. In College Town, Alberto Camargo, ABC 27.